Welcome back to Bazaar Studios. I'm very happy to be painting today. I'm glad you're here with me. Thank you for joining me. And I have a four inch tile there on my spinner in front of me here, all set up, ready to go. And I have a lot of colors here that I want to use up. And what I'm going to be doing is going down to my other home in Florida soon here. So I will be traveling soon. And if you see my next videos, I uh, probably will be in a different environment much sunnier and warmer and happy me <laughs> so I want to get a few videos in so that I can get them posted up on my YouTube channel for you guys uh, thank you to everyone who's subscribing and hitting those like buttons I appreciate you so much and I really do appreciate you being here all the time and watching and it, it keeps me going <laughs> I really do value your support it means a lot to me and I thank you very much. I'm covering my tile with my house paint. This is just my white house paint I get at. This one's from Walmart. It's Color Place brand and it's called Bright White. And what I did is I mixed some Golden's GAC 800 into it, along with a little bit of water this time as well. Just for consistency purposes, I felt like it was a bit thick on me for whatever reason. Um, it's been sitting here in a cup on my table. Paints, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how they play together. I have some really pretty colors here. I think will look nice. You might like them. I'm going to put just a daub of white paint right there on my tile. And let me just grab one more color because I love this color and I have to use it. <laughs> So what this color is, is Arteza's Electric Plum Purple. It's an iridescent color and it's so pretty. I love it. The next one I'm gonna put down is Brilliant Purple. This is from Liquitex Basics. This one here is an opaque color. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do all purples and pinks, but I think I kinda of wanna throw a little blue in there. So why not? Let's do this. I'm gonna put a little dash of the Cerulean Blue. This is from Artist Loft. That one seems a little on the thick side. I hope that's not going to be an issue for us. All right. Now, Arteza's Glowing Peach. That's this one here, another iridescent paint. And then I have Artist Loft Light Magenta. This one's a semi, semi opaque or semi transparent, however you prefer to say that. This is a neon pink, neon pink from Artist Loft. You know what? Because I love it so much, I'm just going to put a dash more of this Arteza purple here. This was the first color I laid down. I'm just going to put a little bit more here. Okay, so there's a couple bubbles. I'm gonna take my skewer and pop these bubbles here so that they don't affect my painting when it dries. I'm using a black cell activator today. As usual, all my recipes, and I'll leave all the paint colors down in the description box for you as well. I have many videos and tutorials on how I make my paints and pouring mediums and everything else if you're interested. Okay, black cell activator is going right here in the middle. I'm gonna blow this out using my mouth and I'll be back. what happens here. You have some really nice cells developing already over there. I'm going to blow my corners out just a little bit more. I'm not too worried about right at the edges because that gets all spun off anyway. But you want to make sure you have enough paint on all your sides. corner seems a little bit dry compared to the others, like not as much paint over there for some reason. I'm going to add a little paint around my edges here just for the sake of flow when I spin this out. All 
right, that looks good. We have some amazing cells in the center here. I'm gonna tip this just a little bit this way. And I'm gonna give this a spin. spin you want to give your paint a second to settle back down because it's still swirling around there even though you've stopped your spinner or it has stopped spinning you want to give it a second because it's still moving it doesn't look like I have a lot up there to move around so I think I'm just gonna leave it I guess the way it is it doesn't seem like I can spin too much more because what I want to do is I want to take my stick here I'm gonna put a design on my tile here by just drawing so to speak through my paint just trying to decide where I want to start. I don't like this little white part here, so I want to go through this. Oh, that looks cool, I like that. I'm not gonna to go too crazy with this stick, but I do want to have some kind of neat designs going through my paint. If you wanted to, you could just do the whole thing and go crazy and have a lot of fun. But in this case, I'm not going to do that today. I'm still going to leave the middle alone and I'm just kind of playing around on the edges. That purple color is really pretty. And I like the way it shows with the pink, the neon pink. I do have a bubble here I'm gonna pop. I don't want that to stay there. Let me give you a nice close up. I'll show you what I have here. Leave me your thoughts and comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I love this, see if I can point here. I love this section here where I drew the stick through it. That looks really pretty. Amazing cells in the center. You think if my paint wasn't old and thickening up on me, I would have had better results as far as stretching the cells all the way out to the edges, but in this case, I did not. So this looks really neat though. I do like this, I like the colors. All right, well, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. This is a four inch ceramic tile, like I said. If you have any questions or anything, leave them down below for me. And I'll see you again real soon on the next video. Thanks for being here. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.